I'm Magicbox, and today we have Throne and Liberty update for November, and I want to hear what they gonna say. What kind of ideas, what kind of dumb, good, maybe bad, maybe terrible ideas they have. I kind of have hopes, but I shouldn't. I have hopes. Oh, I'm so... So, so, so wrong, I think. Don't know why. Don't know why. Let's go. Hi, everyone. It's Godspeed. I hope you have enjoyed our hunted harvest as I did. One of my favorite moments was when my party was completely wiped by the giant pumpkin head before the boss fight. Um, not gonna lie, I sucked at it. I was only the one who was dying and there was only one party member who made it all the way to the end and saved me and everyone else. Uh, thank you, party member. I appreciate it. Oh, and we just had the first castle siege. Congratulations. Yeah, I was also the one. You're not alone, Godspeed. I'm, I was also the one uh, that was always dying in that fucking tunnel with terrible maniacally laughing pumpkin and let's hold hands together and say our prayers or something like that therapy 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 my friends we need therapy for those congratulations to the first legion who has become the owner of stungard castle on each server we've seen many spectacular fights Cheers to all participants who- Oh, that sucked. That was massive. A lot of people fighting each other. That, that was just a massive PvP shit all. That was... Eh, it maybe, probably it was fun for some of the um, top clans, guilds, uh, alliances. I don't know how that works. But uh, for others, for casuals like me, and for smaller clan uh, guilds, that was a um, only a massive fight, in my opinion. Who bravely fought in the battlefield. Today, I'm going to share what to expect in the next update. I have a plenty to go over today, so grab your drink and sit comfortably, and let's get started. I have tea. First, I would like to talk about two-star dungeons. The first batch of this new tier of co-op dungeon difficulty will arrive on November 21st, and an additional one will arrive on December 5th. These dungeons will be both more challenging and more fun than the existing one-star dungeons. You may be wondering, well, Godspeed, what gear can I get from these new dungeons? Great question. There will be some new gear not previously available, and in these new dungeons, you will be able to get loot that has only been available from war bosses up until now, with the exception of war boss weapons. Oh, come on! At least we have that. And, uh, okay, we, we probably won't get a new uh, kind of um, tier weapons. I mean, uh, we have purples, uh, maybe legendary, gold, uh, yellow, something, at least for not now. Not now. Maybe. Next up, let's talk about dimension. And I wonder what kind of powerful and game-breaking items we will have. Of course, I kind of expect in power creep, steep power creep. Dimensional trials. Dimensional Trials will offer a tiered difficulty system where players can select what difficulty to attempt. Depending on the selected difficulty, dungeon enemies will be stronger and the boss patterns will be strengthened by additional effects. Dimensional Trials do not require any items for entry or completion, allowing you to repeatedly challenge the dungeon and always get the rewards. Dimensional Trials will arrive on December 5th. Hey, PvPers, turn off the volume. The new feature called War Games will allow you to create custom lobbies for conquest battles. These lobbies allow for cross-server play in both public and private matches. You can choose the Boonstone or Ripstone, the battle duration, the number of players per team, 
and the number of teams per game. For those of you who prefer not to fight at all, don't worry. You can also join as a spectator and watch your friends play. War games will also be available to play on December 5th. Friends I need to hear that again. And the number of teams shown public quest battle called, Hey PVPers, turn off the volume. The new feature called War Games will allow you to create custom lobbies for conquest battles. These lobbies allow for cross-server play in both public and private matches. Why? Why custom and why between servers? Oh. Stone or Ripstone, the battle duration, the number of players per team, and the number of... I'm not familiar with uh, with uh, uh, Boonstones with all, all all that PvP stuff because I'm I'm too weak and I'm eh. That's for gu uh, big guilds and all that. Uh, what's the point game. of that? For those of you who prefer not to fight at all, don't worry. You can also join as a spectator and watch your friends play. War games will also be available to play on December 5th. Last but not we'll least, see. we will have a new in-game community feature, Silicium Sage, where veteran players can help. I thought that, I thought that's a new region. Less experienced players in their journey. Sages will have not only the icon visible on the minimap. Again. Sage veteran players can help less experienced players in their journey. Sages will have not only the icon visible on the minimap, but also have a dedicated chat channel to share their knowledge. Before we wrap up... Teacher and pupil? Welcome, my pupil! All of you should know, winter is coming. We know how much everyone enjoyed our hunt okay. of Harvest. Okay, Throne and Liberty uh, made a Game of Thrones reference. This kind event, of. and we're super excited for our upcoming winter event, which will come to all players on drum roll December 12th. So start preparing because there is plenty of gifts and rewards coming your way. And stay tuned to our social channels as we will release more information. In winter event, I'm interested in, in the coming weeks. That's wonder, it for today. What I wonder what kind of stuff I will be able to get from that um, new weapon, new costumes. Uh, I mean skins, new weapon skins, new costumes. Uh, but I kind of, kind of don't like uh, winter theme. White, red. Please give me a little bit of green in uh, some kind of little bit of green, little bit of gold, a little bit of white, but. The, the red most of the time is kind of I don't know maybe the palette of the uh, red color kind of yeah everything red around I love red don't get me wrong I love red green yellow together but I don't know how to mix them together I mean how to make a very good looking costume okay. thank you that, all for tuning in colors. if you like this episode please like and subscribe. Lastly, I have a community question for you. What types of in-game seasonal events would you like to see in the future? Please leave your comment below so that I can read it. Seasonal events? Maybe, maybe, maybe... Um, I'm not PvP player. Maybe a little bit... Some, some kind of... Okay, we get uh, every holidays, every some, some kind of celebration, uh, we get a PvE event, yeah. I would like some kind of seasonal event or seasonal um, um, thing. Hmm. What kind, what kind, what kind would be good? I need to think about it. What kind of, maybe some kind of battle pass for seasonal for a whole year, maybe. No, we have one every year. No, 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 no. Or maybe yearly, but uh, no um, yearly battle pass, but uh, no, uh, no uh, payable line like we have with 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 um, 
with a um, monthly battle pass. Maybe that could be something. Uh, better rewards for that. Some kind of... Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Mm, seasonal. 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 What? Uh, we could think what kind of uh, seasonal things we have in other games. In other MMOs that are fun. Uh, I would like uh, at least a little bit... Uh, Maybe that's not for a seasonal thing, but I I would like transmogs. Do I ask a lot? At least ability to wear uh, for uh, for loosened uh, to change uh, how my weapon looks into the other uh, weapons and items. I don't mean skins. I mean uh, a weapon. There are some cool weapons, two-handed great swords. Uh, b b b that looks better th than, than, than uh, at, for example, top weapon. And I would like to change how it looks. I like the stats, but I hate how it looks. Something like that. But for seasonal events, mm, 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 mm. I'm more of a skin thingy. I mean, uh, skin creature. I, I, I like to create something unique. I want to have the ability to create something unique of my character. Everybody, at least for right now, uh, we have skins. Some of them we can customize, or, but 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 mm, mm, mm. more color. I'm talking from perspective of player uh, of MMO player who played uh, Guild Wars. Uh, there was a customization system. I never played. I, I heard uh, uh, Final Fantasy has a very interesting customization system for items. Or, but 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 Guild Wars. I can color items. Uh, at least armor, unique colors. I can choose skins for those uh, item that I already had. And. Um, I would like something for a weapon like that. I want customization! Not only for the face, but for the looks. Not skins that I... Most of them don't... Uh, I can't... Uh, most of them are just costumes. I can't, can't swap... At least, For example, I don't like uh, uh, top. I uh, want to switch top, but I want, don't want to switch pants or something else. Some of them work like that. I don't like that. I want to create something unique as a PvE player. I understand this is PvP player. A P P PvP game. But... Mm, 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 mm. Can we get both? Why not both? PvP, PvE... I think there there would be a, a lot more things to do and 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 game would be accessible for uh, for a lot of people a, a lot more people would play this game and we know that uh if game is too pvp oriented it doesn't go really well not a lot. We don't have a lot of game uh, MMOs that uh, are purely PvP and th they uh, have very big longevity or at least uh, big following. And I am afraid that the same shit will happen with this game. Uh, I hope. I hope we get. This game will get better. At least fix your fucking bugs that everybody is uh, screaming about. You are... Uh, developers are and Amazon are orientating at pushing uh, new events, uh, new stuff. But please fix what is wrong right now with the old stuff. Don't leave it hanging. Please read the community. 
Community don't want bad stuff to happen to this game. Community wants good things to happen to this game. They want to play this game, but if the game goes, <clears throat> then nobody will want to play this game. When developers, when uh, movie cr creators create, uh, listen to, 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 to players, uh, listen to consumers, good things will happen to the product. For example, we had Sonic. They created monstrosity. People said that this looks bad. They Then they recreated how Sonic looked and look what happened. A good game. A, uh, oh, fuck me. A good uh, movie. The same thing could happen with the game. And uh, the, uh, the movie was uh, from the game. I mean, I mean, Sonic was the game, the cartoon, the anime, or whatever. But it was live action created from the game, the popular game. And it was good. It was good. One of... Less number. Uh, I mean, the mm, words, 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 how that works. Words, how words work. Um, okay, not a lot of uh, video game movies worked in history. Not a lot. Comic book movies. Okay, we had uh, Marvel Universe. We had Blade that worked. But fuck, we, please listen to your community. They don't want bad things to happen to the game. I ranted enough, I think. <sighs> Let's finish the video. Each and every one, and I'll see you in Silicium. Bye. I hope so. Okay, bye. Uh, I've been Matchbox. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you enjoy my content. Uh, write me something good in the comments. A like, dislike, anything goes well with me. And I hope to see you soon in the next video.